الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ونوالا ثم أما بعد أهنوب الشيخ الشيخ أبو عبد الله عبد الرحمن الميسان حفظه الله reminded us of an important matter حفظه الله started by mentioning and saying that this is the month of Ramadan this is the month of Ramadan the month of the Quran the month of the fasting the month of increase in worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from his bounty and his mercy upon us is that he makes and allows us to worship him subhanahu wa ta'ala with many different kinds of worship in this month in this month the combination of many types of worship that which you do not find in other times and for this this is the best the best month throughout the year it is the best and the most excellent time and the most excellent month throughout the year this is a month of generosity this is the month of doing good as the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned that in the beginning of ramadan allah sends down an angel who will call o seeker o seeker of good come come forth and o seeker of evil depart and go away this is the month of generosity the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam was always generous he was he sallallahu alaihi is the most generous from the creation and from from the servants of Allah and he was he was always generous and especially so in Ramadan that he used to be like the blowing wind this is the month of giving for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so it is upon us to give to give for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to spend from that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us and to not cause destruction of ourselves Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called holding on to one's wealth and not spending for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not spending from that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called it that it is the destruction of the servant as he subhanahu wa ta'ala said and give and give for the sake of Allah and do not throw yourselves into your destruction and do good for Allah loves the good doers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us and mentioned to us that after the person dies and he sees from the actions those that are most beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and those that most benefit the ones who have done, who have done them they see that from the most excellent of actions that are beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and beneficial to the people is the sadaqat is the charities and for this reason, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us that the disobedient and the sinners and the disbelievers that they wish they would return to this life so that they would spend for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the, in the meaning of the verse, and give from that which Allah has given you. Before death comes to you or to one of you, and he says, my Lord, Perhaps you would have delayed me so that I would spend and be from the righteous. This is what the people, this is what they wish after they die and they see the, the end results of their actions that they wish they would come back and spend for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And of course this is the case. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa told us and he mentioned that there are seven types of people who will have who will have shade on the day of judgment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give them shade on the day in which there is no shade except for the ones whom Allah gives them shade. And he mentions, and the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he mentioned one of them is a man who spent and kept it as a secret so much so that his left hand doesn't know that which his right hand has given. And so, it is upon us to spend for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So look and ask around and see, especially from your relatives, for the closer the person is to you, the more of right he has over you, and the more you should do good towards him. So ask, go around and ask and find from your relatives and from your close ones, who is in need, who has rent to pay, and is not able to pay it. Who needs to buy things for his children? 
for his wife and give them for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be generous. Give them for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Spend for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do not belittle anything. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, and protect yourselves from the hellfire, even with a half date fruit. So do not belittle. If you don't have a lot, then give what you are able to. Do not belittle anything from the sadaqat. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases the sadaqat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the meaning of the verse, Allah destroys the usury, the riba, and increases the sadaqat. The person will come on the day of judgment as in the hadith, and he will see mountains. He will find his sadaqah, his small sadaqah. He will find it as mountains. And he will say, where is this from? How do I deserve this? And it will be said to him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will tell him that he increased it for him and raised it and increased it for him. The sadaqah, it comes in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before it comes in the hand of the poor and the needy. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases it and raises it just like one raises his young horse to become big and large. Likewise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases the sadaqat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala multiplies them, multiplies the sadaqat and increases them. So do not belittle anything. When some of the verses regarding sadaqat were sent down upon the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the companions may Allah be pleased with them. They raised for giving for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And some of the some of the less some of the companions who, who didn't have a lot of wealth and they were less wealthy they went and worked some of them worked in carrying and carrying things for people for little money and then they gave from that for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and when the hypocrites they saw them giving in sadaqat, small amounts, they mocked them, they made fun of them. They said Allah is in no need of the sadaqat of such and such, of this little sadaqah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refuted them, and refuted their statement. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down the verse regarding their statement and the meaning of the verse and those and those who mock the believers in regards to the sadaqat and those who blame the believers in regards to their charities and those who do not find anything they mock them and Allah will mock them back or re will return their mock at them and to them is the severe punishment the small sadaqat that are given for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah increases them. And the best of sadaqat is the one who does not have a lot of wealth, one who is not very wealthy, but yet gives for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he mentioned that one dirham precedes a hundred thousand dirhams. And the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he made it clear that one dirham, if a person has two, has two dirhams, or one has two dollars, for example, and he gives a dollar for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is half his wealth. That is half his wealth. Whereas if a person has a hundred thousand dirhams, and it is only a small portion of his wealth, then of course, the one who gives half his, half his wealth, even if it is a single dirham for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases it. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewards for it tremendously. So do not belittle anything that you give for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even if it is a smile and meeting your brother with a good smile, for it is a sadaqah. Meeting your brother with a good smile is a sadaqah for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So do, be, do not belittle the sadaqat, even if it is the smile that you give to your brother. 
We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept all of our actions, to accept our fastings and our night prayers and our sadaqat and all of our, our actions. And we ask Him subhanahu wa ta'ala to teach us that which is beneficial to us and to allow us to act upon that which He taught us. وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين